Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we're here for another weather breakdown. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the SPC outlook for today, where we have no marginal risks of severe weather. Moving on to tomorrow, we have no marginal risks of severe weather. And moving on to Saturday, we have no marginal risks of severe weather. So let's go ahead and move on to the National Hurricane Center, where we have a disturbance that has a 20% chance of forming the next 7 days and a 20% chance of forming the next 48 hours. That's really not looking like a huge concern compared Compared to what it was just a few days ago. Eastern Pacific, we do have Tropical Storm Pilar leaving Central America, but we're going to break that down more later. And then we have another disturbance as a 20% chance to form the next seven days and a 20% chance to form the next 48 hours. But this has been sitting out here literally forever, so I don't think it's really a big deal. I don't think it's going to form, and it's definitely not going to go anywhere if it does. Central Pacific, nothing new. So let's go ahead and move on to the track for uh, Pilar here. Pilar is currently a 50 mile per hour storm here, like I said leaving Central America. That's good. Messed up the rip tides for a while. But it is now heading west-northwest here and uh, is going to continue to head out here into the uh, the Pacific. So that's good. Uh, Climate Prediction Center, 6 to 10 day temperature outlook here. Uh, in the southeast of the United States, we're going to have a 60 to 70 percent chance to see above average temperatures in the red, so look out for that. One last heat wave is here before winter time, all right? Northeast, uh, in the darkest shade of blue there, you're going to have an area that's going to have a 60 to 70 percent chance to see below average temperatures okay so look out for that the fall uh, or sorry the winter weather is definitely here uh, 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook. Uh, we're going to have an area down here in southwestern Texas that's going to have a 50 to 60 percent chance to see above average precipitation. So look out for that. We have an area in the four corner states where in the darkest shade of brown is going to have a 40 to 50 percent chance to see below average precipitation. And then we also have one of those in portions of Montana. So look out for that. 8 to 14 day outlooks, 8 to 14 day temperature outlook here. We're going to have another area that's going to have a 60 to 70 percent chance to see above average temperatures. Uh, and this is for the November 10th to the 16th, so look out for that. It's going to be here in the upper western Midwest. And then we're going to have an area here in the northeastern United States that is going to have a 40 to 50 percent chance to see below average temperatures in the darkest shade of blue there in portions of eastern Maine. So look out for that. 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook. We're going to have an area down here in southwest Texas still that is going to have a 50 to 60 percent chance to see above average precipitation. So look out for that. And then we're going to have another area that's going to have a 40 to 50 percent chance to see below average precipitation and portions of the upper western midwest and the northwest so look out for that finally watches warnings and advisories winter weather advisories in effect for portions of northeastern montana and northwestern wyoming as we are going to have a decent amount of snow move through here in the region tonight into tomorrow uh but we're going to break that down more in my video tonight so uh stay tuned for that it should be releasing at around 8 30 uh central daylight time maybe a little later so be on the lookout for that uh georgia we still do have some freeze warnings warnings in effect in the darkest shade of blue there so look out for that and then in the light blue those are going to be freeze watches or sorry those are going to be frost advisories so look out for that and those do expand into south carolina uh we do have some high wind warnings actually in effect here and high wind watches in effect for portions of southeast montana as this snow is actually going to bring a decent amount of gusty winds to this region here so you got to look out for some high wind gusts potentially up to 60 maybe 65 in isolated areas uh mile per hour wind gusts so definitely look out for that that is no joke okay that can pull trees uh knock trees over at least those can pull power lines out of the ground if they're not very sturdy so you got to look out and then we do still have some flash flood watches in effect here in portions of california and oregon so look out for that but other than that pretty calm right now so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace